Hey, what's up everybody from Westlaw out here in Los Angeles. It is a freaking scalding day out here today. It might be the humidity, I don't know what, but it's like everything is like muggy and nasty and like tape isn't sticking and all this other jazz. But yeah, other than that, we got blue skies and hot ass concrete. Burned my feet out there today. There's a piece of art that I got sitting and drying and you know, in process kind of dealio. But um, yeah, to the vlog today, I'm gonna talk about a couple of pieces that I did quite recently actually. Um, and they're kind of interesting because I didn't do them here in my studio or when I was in Wisconsin, which is a whole different vlog, but um, I did them while I was in Paris, France. Um, I was there on a vacation, a family trip, um, I think about a month ago or so, a month and a half. Time flies by pretty quick. But um, yeah, I managed to find some time and some space and some paint and some canvases and go absolutely crazy. And it was a really, really interesting experience. And um, I think up to that point, two of my most uh, powerful pieces, I think. Um, yeah, because they always say about like your latest work is like your most recent like ideas that you're thinking about and all the influences and all this other stuff from having spent like six days or something at that point in Paris, like crazy stuff. So, I'm going to stop talking to the camera so you can look at something other than my face and hopefully the paintings I'll show you, you will like. So, all right, let me get to it then. All right, so here is the first painting. Gotta be careful, the light here is kind of crazy. And I forget the sizes on these, um, but they're all, I think, like 16 by 20 or bigger, 18 by 24. And the cool thing about them is, this is the first time, there's so many firsts about these two paintings, it's really hard to go into here. I'll try and, you can see part of my knees in this. I'll maybe move them a little bit closer together. All right, so let me go through my, my, my whole spiel about all this, jazz, all this jazz is. So backstory is, um, like I said, Paris, France. Uh, I really wanted to paint a bunch of my buddies that it'd be a super smart idea for me to do, you know, social media and all this other jazz. But for me as an artist, I, I, I wanted to experiment with it because like I'd gone back to Wisconsin, my hometown, to visit my parents, and there I'd done some painting, and it was kind of interesting to see the influences on, like the environment and all all that stuff. And so being in Paris is like a super huge goal for me to be like, yo, like what? How is it going to influence and make me think and change my painting and all this other jazz? And something like I brought tools with me, so I had some tools and all this other stuff. But what I hadn't counted on was the fact of the difference in paint supplies. Like these are not cotton canvases, the things that I've been working on for like the last three or four months at that point, but they're linen. So they're completely different. I'd never worked with those before. And like the, the, the acrylic paints that I normally work with, I, I, they didn't really have those. I had to work with something completely different. And it's like the tools I brought with me. And it, it was just like this interesting like combination of things of being able to be in a different country and these different influences and suddenly have the challenge of like all these different things and like minim like not having all my tools, not having my comfort zone. And like, it make it even crazier. It's like, where exactly do you paint something like this? Cause it gets big and messy. And so like the, I, I think I went on my, we were there for 10 days. And I think I painted these on the sixth day or something like that. And like the entire trip to that, up to that point, I'd been looking for different places like parks and such as we were going around where I could paint them because like where exactly do you do that like where is it kosher like where is it cool to do like you know and so I had actually on one of the days I was meeting up with my dad and my brother-in-law and his son my step-nephew I guess um, I, I was like I looked and it was this, like craziest place I thought it would be kind of cool is right by the freaking Louvre because like there's this really nice park that, that a lot of people chill out in and there's a lot of like open space to work in and it was just like, it felt like a spot that I could do it. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just like put this complete crazy ass challenge on myself and like, it's not, not just painted somewhere in a park in Paris, but actually like next to the Louvre, like one of the greatest storehouses of like art and like history and all this other stuff. And I'm like, all right. And then even to boost on top of that. So we've got supplies that I'm not used to in a place that I'm not used to in a crazy intense place. and. On top of that, the night before, where we were staying at our bed in um, our Airbnb, they were having a freaking party with like music to the max, and it's just like there's no sound like dampening really, like across the uh, the street, and so we had no way to like block out the sound until like 3 a.m. in the morning. So I woke up with like three hours or four hours of sleep, like intensely groggy as well, and so. Yeah, that was just like a lot about the backstory on it. It's just like the tools, the materials, the intensity of like where I'm doing was doing it, and like 
the feeling of like that I'm I was I'm a new artist and so like for me this is all experimentation crazy like what the hell is going on and so I'm like a kid out there and I'm worrying so let's just say it was a very intense experience and here let me stand up a little bit and so yeah like I go I start on these and honestly these are like second and third versions on some of these just because of accident and frustration and a lot of this was like you know, some people put up, like, said, ah! as I kick my own paintings, had been, or said to me, like, hey, Mike, why don't you try and, like, impart the power or the feelings you had from when you were in Paris into your paintings? So it's like, all of a sudden, I had this challenge. I mean, you, didn't, you get my point. There's a lot of different challenging aspects going on. Um, but you notice I sound really excited about them because they were so interesting for me to overcome because it's like... You know, I was listening to like French music, like from Amelie for a while, and I was breathing in all this other jazz, and I couldn't find my, my happy spot to get painting, and then all of a sudden I found my happy spot, and I got into my flow, and then I got out of my flow, and then I was in my flow, and I'm standing like on a super hot day on, in Paris, France, next to the Louvre, like painting, and like all of a sudden you're out of flow, and you're thinking about that, and you're seeing people take pictures of you, and it, it's just like, what the heck? But it was just like, you know, exposure on that. Like, and then how to deal with, like, failure of, like, something you hated, and then you're like, oh, you remake it over, and then you hate that even more, and then going through these different processes where, like, there's a lot of paint on here. Like, there's layer upon layer upon layer of it. And I just gotta say, I freaking love linen canvases, like, how paint goes on there, like, the textures you're able to pull from that. And I was using nicer acrylics, like, medium bodied, I believe. And so, like, there's more body to everything. And even, like, in this one, I started mixing colored paints together, like, to brighten up, like, tints and hues and all this other jazz. And so I'm in this tense environment experimenting and just taking these deep breaths, trying to find my happy spot, falling out of my happy spot. And, and just, like, how do I impart the energy of, like, Paris in here, you know, thinking of, like, the Eiffel Tower, all the museums, the history, the culture, and then all that other jazz. And I'm just like, I don't know if I can do this as a new artist. But I ended up doing whatever I could, like... So I gotta get focused back, like the best I could from where I'm at, because that's, I think one of the most important things for me as a newer artist to remember, or I think anybody for remember, is that you're not good at the beginning, but if you put your heart into it, like, I think in the end people begin to see that energy, and that's the most important thing. Like, this is who I was when I was painting it, like, I love abstracting thought, it just puts you in a different place, like emotions because then people end up seeing things in this that I never like people are seeing like the Eiffel Tower or they're seeing different night scenes people dancing like where does this come from and like when people ask me about it like some artists are, are able to fully like throw out exactly what's going on but for me I'm expressing just like literally my subconscious expert like what the heck's going on and I hope my camera work isn't getting you all dizzy, but I'm just trying to keep the camera moving so you're not just like listening to a voice drone on about like crazy things. It's like looking close to these, like, first of all, like I said, that freaking texture from the linen canvas, but it's like when you just like, for me, it's almost hypnotic to look at some of this stuff because you're like, where does it start? Where does it end? And when people ask why you do one thing or another, there's always a reason behind it, like while I'm in the moment. But ask me now and I'll have to kind of come up with a different explanation because I don't think we can truly explain who we were in a moment it, or it, maybe not at my level. I'm not, I'm, like I said, I'm still new at this jazz. But, so these were these paintings I did while in Paris, France, such as the Louvre. Yeah. Do you see what it was like? Sometimes I love hearing what people see in my art because... It's like, so many people see so many different things, and that makes me so happy. Because there's no right answer to that. I won't give you the right answer. I can tell you what was in my head when I made it, but... Yeah, it's more about the deeper, pure emotion. The more you're able to uh, find a deeper tone of what you feel is true, the more people will be able to identify on their own level of what they want to see based off of that. So, I hope that was, that was really pretty rambling and random. Let's see if I can sum that all back up again. So many different tools and challenges all at the same time and places and canvases and, you know, just thought patterns going behind these two. And it's like, color choice. Why the heck did I choose these colors? And this was an interesting point for me as well. I love the art store there. I will recommend it to everybody. Might have to leave a link in the bio or something like that. But, um, like, what colors... These, these colors kind of represent France to me or Paris, my experience there. 
there's a lot of different things going on with like the blues, the yellows, the whites, and um, black as well. I love black and white. I love blue and yellow. It's like how do you use those colors is always a fun thing. But to me, like when I thought of the nightlife, the lights, and all this other jazz, like like that energy of like calm, but like energetic and refreshing and different. And ah, I keep on kicking my own painting, which is horrible. Please don't judge me. Um, but yeah, and so it's like I kind of wove that energy into it. And before I was talking about, um, here I gotta even them up a little bit so you guys don't go OCD on me. But um, yeah, when you talk about like the influences, I've been to several art museums by this point, and it's just like through all the different like uh, modern artists, classical artists, like there's so much history to art that I don't know that it's just like unconsciously, like you take in so much, and when you let it all out, like man, art and its influences, I just can't even begin to go there. It's so tight, so crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go on too much longer. It's been about 10 minutes of me rambling on about these. They were very fun paintings too. Getting them back through customs is pretty crazy too. Like nobody gave me any problem, but still you're carrying two giant paintings onto an airplane. You know, you're bound to get some looks. Not to mention I had a whole huge like roll of canvas paintings that I'd brought with me. But um, yeah, painted in Paris, France, using the colors and energies that I felt. So many challenges all at me at one time. A lot of good times. Didn't get sunburned either, which is really nice, so. All right, let's close this down. One more quick swoop in of all the textures and colors. And, oh man, that was a pretty intense vlog for me. Like, I haven't gone that in-depth on a, a series of paintings before. I did a little bit with the, with the square ones, but um, yeah, it's interesting when you start going back on stuff and you begin to think about the process as you were doing it. And, you kind of get in that same mindset and that mood and um yeah so i hope that was interesting for y'all you know take a moment with me and these my cool paintings you can kind of see them still see them there that's where i have them sitting for the whole thing um gotta love this neighbor we got such a beautiful evening that's going to be about we're gonna have some clouds again but anyways back to the whole vlog thing uh thanks for stopping by thanks for watching that vlog i hope you gave a little bit gave you a little bit of insight into me as a as an artist and the artwork that i do um as always, here comes my business pitch. Please head to, if you love my work and you want to collect it, um, find me on Patreon. I believe it. I am, I am Wessel. I should be I am Wessel on, on Patreon. Um, and either if you're interested in doing the art subscription service or commissioning for something, either is cool. Or if you want to hit up my merch site at IamWessel.com, that's also super appreciated. I got plenty of t-shirts and like bags and stuff like that with my art on it. Um, I have people tell me they're pretty cool. They're all around the world right now. Yeah, I, got, I love having family around the world. Um, and if, none, if you don't want to spend any money, that's completely cool as well. Uh, any comments, likes, shares, love the hell out of those too. So, or if there's nothing, if you just appreciate it in your heart, eventually I'll find out. So, all right, thank you everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Time for me to get to the next thing.